Hello, good evening, my dear friends. Welcome to the Wednesday class. This is like one class before the last one, right? So tomorrow we hope to finish this module, this course. Mañana, pues, estaríamos terminando este, este módulo, realmente. It's, a, well, a good news, right? Es una buena noticia. So welcome back. My dear friends, hello, Carlos. How are you tonight? Night, teacher. Hello. Every, hello everything teacher. okay? Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. Teacher. Okay, good one. Let's listen to Kenya. How was your day, Kenya? Excellent. Hello, no te escuchaba. Ahora creo que sí. Sí, okay, okay. Excellent. Excellent day. Okay, Wednesday. Ombligo de semana. In the middle. Okay, uh, fine. Carito, how was your Wednesday? Hello, teacher. Pretty good. Pretty good. Really? Okay, nice. I, guess. I know. Very I busy. Guess. Okay, yes, busy. So it passed uh, really fast, I guess. Pasó algo rápido, right? Yes. Okay, good, Wednesday. So two more days and we're, ha we're going to be on weekend. So that's really good. And imagine on Friday, you're going to be free. El viernes ya van a estar libres. De mí y de esa clase. Thank you, Carito. I know, I know, Carito. <laughs> Qué mala, ya ves? Sure. Uh, no, no says I really like the class, but I feel so tired, so exhausted. You need rest. I need I need a rest. I yeah. need a break. I you need, need a sleep. break. Time out. Necesitan eso. And believe it. Yes. Uh, this like two weeks that you're going to be free, you're going to feel like very relaxing and a, a change, a big change. Vas a sentir un gran I feel energy. Of course it is. Yes, definitely. Absolutely, as you say. Absolutely. Okay, ¿te gustó esa palabra? Me okay. encanta, no sé por qué. Okay, nice. Tan, sí, la... O like tan, no, I don't know, pero me gusta. Y bien concreta, bien segura también. Okay. So good, imagine, just one class before this one and free. Van a estar libres, solteros y solteras. That's nice. Okay, we have Luis. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you feeling? I am great, teacher. You're great, okay. Perfect. Sounds really good. And we have also Mardo. Uh, Mardo, are you dancing or something like that? Because I see the moving. Okay, everything nice, right? Okay. Nice, teacher. Perfect. Um, the the class content or the class topic is how to use get and go. So this is the class number 19, class 19, really good number, really good number, okay? So um, how to use get and go, okay? But before we go to the, the, the main topic, we have the first speaking activity. I have never, I have never, yo nunca he. So in this case, uh, you can use past participle verbs. Like this one. So, oh. Yeah. We're going to use this. Even they are regular or irregular. So be ready for expressing your opinions or ideas. I have never destroyed a car, for example. I have never eaten garrobo, for example. There are some examples which you can say. So remember that regular verbs uh, change a lot in comparison to the present. Any regular verbs are the same. I'm sorry, regular verbs are the same. Solo se agrega ed y hasta en pasado participio. Really nice. 
But on the contrary, we have irregular verbs that it is a different uh, writing, una estructura diferente, and definitely it's a different pronunciation. So let's start with this. Um, see, I have never, and I want to hear some of your experiences, okay? So we're going to start with Carito, and then we go with um, Kenya, and then Lucy. Okay, so let's. Okay. I have never bathed naked in a beach or pool, and I have never ate, ate, right. ¿Cómo dice el pasado de comer? Ate. Mm -hmm. Ate gallo en chicha. Ah, okay, gallo en chicha. It's a really good one. I have never eaten. Eaten. Because eight is the pasado de is ate. Yeah. Ah, okay. Hey, okay, gallo en chicha. No. It's, for me, it's it's delicious. I like it. It's really? tasty. Yeah, it's tasty. Uh, I like it. So, and what about the first one? You have never what? Taking a uh, like take take taking a shower naked in the at, in a at, you know at uh, home in a pool. pool? In a swimming, no, you can. In, you in have the... to do it. You have to do it at least once in your life. Yes, and then tell us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, perfect. Cayo uh, and chicha. It is like you can you can try it. Puedes probarlo. I commend you. Mm, it is like uh, typical food in El Salvador. Everybody, but there are some exceptions. Example, there are some. Don't like chuco. I told chuco, but it is not for everybody. In my case, I love it. I don't know what about you, Karit. I haven't tried. Just think about the 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 word chuco yes. and that's fer fermentation. I. No, I'm so sorry. El chuco, it's, we associate that name to dirty. Yes. Algo sucio. But and, you uh, know what? I ask, I ask how the people do it when the, the people right? say me. No, no, it's not for me. I'm so, so sorry. It's not Maybe for sometime. Okay, but. For what? example, for example, yesterday I tried the nuegados. Me gustaron. Yeah, you like it. There are two types of nuegados. We have two types of nuegados. The masa y the yuca. Yeah, the yuca, right? Sí. Probé de yuca. Those are my favorites. Okay. Yeah, that was nice, tasty. What is it? We're learning about our nice food. Perfect. Vamos por partes con los con la comida rara step. salvadoreña. Step, step by step. By step, yes. Como la canción de New Kids from the Blue. The Interesting. The... <laughs> Cayo en chicha, tarea, homework for you, okay? The next model, okay. if we are together, you have to tell us about Cayo en chicha. Okay. okay. Nice. I promise. Hey, we have um, Kenya. Okay, teacher. Hi. I have never driven a motorcycle. Oh. I have never eaten pita haya. I have never danced tango. Tango, okay. My grandfather used to used to dance tango. He was a really good dancer. Not in my case, definitely. Not in my case. But um pita haya. Remember what? Well, remind me what is pitahaya? I don't. Es una fruta Nothing comes to my da, mind. Ajá, una fruta que da la tuna o um, la que le uh -huh. Pitahaya is the one, is a fruit who has uh, like, who has like, tiene como espinas. Bread. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I have never tried. Uh, Nunca but uh, people say that if you bet it, Dice la gente que si te, la muerdes, si te puedes lastimar, right? Mm -hmm. Así dicen. Ok. Homework for you. And another homework is you have to dance.
tango. Tango. Ese es lo único que no he podido bailar. Oh, <risa> miren, esta que ya no salió dancer. Me encanta desde niña. Okay, good. Eh, believe it, not everybody has the rhythm. No todos tienen el ritmo. I know a lot of people who are uh, like, who are not coordinated when dancing. Coordinated. Even cumbia. <laughs> yes. For, la, for la, la Latin people, cumbia is easy, right? Para los latinos la cumbia es fácil, right? Of course, yes. it's like, a, a really, you can dance it with basic steps. Con pasos básicos la baila. But even I know people who can't dance cumbia with the basic steps. So, oh, that's it. And that's why Europeans and Americans are like, um, what? Like, they, 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 they like to see our, our uh, style of dancing because they, it is like difficult for them. Es difícil para los norteamericanos y europeos el baile Salsa, merengue, cumbia, it is not easy for them. Así que he visto bastante que les cuesta. Que sí, nosotros sí si tenemos, tenemos sabor. We have flavor. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Tenemos sabor, los latinos. Of course. Thank you, Kenya. And Luis. Okay, teacher. And then uh, Durán and Carlos. I have never tried the cocktail. Okay. Cocktail, you, you say, you mean shell, shrimp, eh, concha, camarón, yes? Yes, yes. Because ma. there are some other cocktails with alcohol. Hay otros cocktails como de alcohol, creo que son bebidas. Ah. I guess. Sí, sí, pero but, but, but you mean, you mean seafood, te refieres a, la, a los mariscos, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Never. Never What's tried never. Penny, Luis? <clears throat> Esta falta beber, amigo. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> cocktails are like what? Yes, what one. is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luis, yeah. you should. No, no, you should. You have to. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Try once. People, I don't know. Maybe people prefer shrimp, uh, the camarón. Some other prefer shell, shell cocktail. Mm -hmm. Concha. In my case, I love shrimp, but honestly, I prefer shell. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. But, but maybe someday, Chris, maybe someday. Okay. Okay, teach. Okay. Perfect. We go now with Duran. Are you over there? Uh, okay, teach. Yeah. Uh, I have never sleep on the sidewalk. And I have never drunk a beer. Come on. Durán, voy a ser el que menos te voy a creer eso. He has never drunk a beer in his life. One, one, one. Ah, one. Okay, one. You have drunk more than ten, maybe. Okay. So, well, perfect, Durán. Escucho algo lejos, así como mi conciencia. A veces. Maybe it's the sign up. Okay, thank you, Durán. Nunca ha tomado una, una, una heladita. Remember. Ok, um, Carlos, you go. Ok, teacher. I have never working on Tiger Tropper. I have never hating sushi. A sushi. I have never uh, dance, dance, sha, sha, sha. Ah, really? Ok. Sushi, it's not for everybody as well. Similar to shell cocktail. Igual que el cocktail de, 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 de conchas, sushi is not for everybody. In my case, I tried once, eh, probé uno. Try es probar, ¿verdad? Pero en pasado yo probé. I tried one type of sushi and I didn't like it. But I know a lot of people who, who love it. Mucha gente le encanta. Well, it's, up. it's up to them. And cha cha cha, come on! You have never danced cha cha cha. It's it's not difficult. Verdad, Kenya? No es tan difícil, right? It's like really, it's like Cuban, yeah. Cuban rhythm. Es como un ritmo cubano, creo. Carito, Son... que habla de bailar ya. ¿Quién nos va a dar clases de baile con quién? Okay. ¿Yo qué? No, tú y Kenya nos van a dar clases de baile. 
Absolutely, of course. Thank you, gratitude, Choto. Okay. Teacher, I hear that you don't like sushi. Maybe the one that I tried was not so, so good. I it was like I felt it like um, I don't know, not very well cooked. Now, yo creo que quizás ese es el chiste, but I didn't like it. Dicen que lo de, lo de cangrejo, bueno, dicen, but I tried some other, no recuerdo cuál probé, pero. Cangrejo y salmón. The you first like? time that I tried it, I didn't like it, the, the sushi and the jamón serrano, but then I continue trying and maybe trying in different places, so. I really like it now. Both, oh, really? both food. Maybe it's a taste that you develop. Quizás es un gusto que se desarrolla. Maybe. Yeah. Totally. Yes, like step by step, you try it. And definitely there are some places are where are where they are what? Like uh, professionals. And some others like maybe. And that's, that's like a danger. But, Maybe you can try it in one place and that that is a bad restaurant. So yes. you have that idea and it's difficult to erase that idea from you. I know. And we can go to Dan Salsa in la despedida del módulo 3. Van a bailar y se van a poner así. Como cuando sale la máscara. Así como. Vamos a hacer una coreografía entonces. Coreografía y un sombrerito. Yes. Okay, nice. I know I'm preparing a choreography. Okay, you solo lo voy a estar viendo desde lejos. Okay. Let's see who else. What about Wilfredo and then Mardo? I have never. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Wilfredo. Good evening. Uh, I have never eat eat garrobo. I have oh. never eat kusuko. Okay. I have never eaten or eaten. Yes, garrobo or kusuku. Well, let me see. Yeah, garrobo. I, I don't like it. I tried kusuko, but it is not healthy. No es tan saludable el garrobo, as far as I know. And do you say? But well, interesting, Wilfredo. And let's see. We go now with Mardu. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I have never jumped, jumped in a in a parachute. Parachute. Okay. Parachute. Mm -hmm. I have never eaten ceviche huevo de toro. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yes. I have, I, I have never eaten caviar. Mm hmm. Caviar, caviar is like eggs, but they are not cooked. Creo que son huevos que, huevitos de, de pescado que no son cocinados, algo así es. I guess I have never tried. Sí. I have eaten. Es okay. cari es carísimo. Es expensive. Ah, oh, yes, it's expensive. Mm, yes, I love it. Sí, mejor nos comemos unos mataniños. Okay. And Para the caviar <laughs> is not tested good. So, but what is the, the objective of, of eating that? It is like exotic food? This is salty. Salty. Saladito. Salty. And the, the flavor is not... not... Not really good. Not really good, no. Maybe it's kind of really strange food, exotic food. Well, yeah. Depends on the taste. Because that maybe you can, for example, wine, el vino. Wine, there are some wines in which you can combine with meat, with cheese, with jam, and there are different types, but, but in this case, I don't know what it could be the perfect combination for, for caviar. Well, maybe so someday I will know, uh, we will know it. Parachute, paracaídas. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I wouldn't do it. Yo no lo haría. Definitely. I wouldn't. But if you like stream sports, yeah, of course. Why not? So someday. Well, um, let's 
we're going to continue later with this. I have never, first here we have common mistakes. Y es algo de lo que les había mencionado ayer, ¿verdad? Que a veces hay unas, there are, well, we have some letters, final letters, especially consonants, which we don't pronounce. Maybe because we want to speak speed or fluent or because we forgot, okay? So here we have, thanks God. Here we have, mm -mm. it's thank God. I'm agree, mm -mm. it's I agree. The police is, here we have, the police are. Por qué the police are? Porque police es un nombre colectivo, okay? Es como que dijésemos people, okay? People, no decimos people is, aunque no lleve ese ni nada, es un nombre colectivo. So people are, igual acá, the police are, okay? The life is hard, we say life is hard. Así se dice, y se sobreentiende que la vida es difícil, okay? Me and Andy live here. Se dice Andy and I live here. O podemos decir, decimos Andy and me. Cuando solo, o, o decimos you and me, you and me, lo podemos decir también, pero solo cuando ya no, van a, no hay más palabras, no, no hay más letras, solo, ah, ok, you and me. Pero es más común decir you and I, aunque parezca extraño eso, ¿verdad? You and I es más, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Común, ok. So here we have these common mistakes that we usually do, ok. We pronounce or, or we, we add extra letters, okay? Let's see. And here we have different meanings of get. And once I told you that get has like 16, more than 16 meanings. Get a veces puede tener más de 16 eh, significados. So in this case is uh, arrive, uh, llegar, okay? They left at 4.30 uh, and got home at 6.30, ok, entonces como que ellos eh, se fueron a las 4.30 y llegaron, got, es como arrive, llegaron a las 5.30, buy, comprar, I got a new phone last week, yo compré un nuevo celular la semana pasada, understand, I didn't get what he said, did you, no entendí lo que él dijo, y tú, no receive, did you get my Email yesterday, ¿verdad? Recibiste mi correo ayer. So, we can use get with uh, the meaning of arrive, buy, understand, and receive, okay? I'm going to check the attendance list. If you want to take notes, you can do it right now. So, if you listen to your name, say hi or hello, please. And let me see. Okay. Carlos, hello there. Hello, teacher. Okay, Carito. Hi, teacher. All right, Edwin. We have Edwin. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And Steffi. Hello. Hello, Steffi. Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Hi, Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Duran. Hello, teacher. Hi. Yvette. Present teacher. Nice. Kenya. Hello, teacher. Hi. Luis. Hello, teacher. Perfect. Mardo. Hello, teacher. Hello there. And we have Oscar. Hello, teacher. Hi, Nina. Hi, teacher. Hi, Nina. Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, Claudia. Okay, and Wendy. Okay, we don't have Claudia or Wendy tonight. So um, these are common mistakes. And here we have uh, different forms to, to express get, okay? Arrive, buy, understand, receive. Eso es común cuando nosotros pues tenemos <clears throat> frases con get. Es como que un poquito, <clears throat> puede ser un poquito confuso, ¿ok? Ok, we continue with the same activity. 
I have never. Okay. So in this, uh, I want to hear um, Evelyn and then Gabriel. Okay, Evelyn. I have never. I have never visit. Uh, I have never visit Europe. 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 Okay. Europe. I have never visited. Visited, visited. or visited. visited. Europe, visited. okay, Europe. and it, it, it is a good. Could it be a good plan to visit Europe? There are some yes. uh, countries that are not so expensive, no son tan caros algunos. Okay, we can do mm -hmm. it. Yes, it's it could be a good plan. Thank you, um, Gabriel, and then Yvette. Okay, I have never driven a motorcycle. Ah, driven a motorcycle. Okay, that's another good. Neither me. I have never. Okay, um, Yvette and then Steffi. Okay, I have never um, driven phrase of carao. Fresh. I have never, ah, dr drunk. Bebir. Oh, drunk. Oh, drunk, si. carao refreshment or carao drink. Mm -hmm. Well, si. carao I, drink. I have, I have, but I don't like it. But mainly because of the smell. No me gusta por el olor, right? It's like a sucks, es como un calcetín, okay? <laughs> it sucks, like como una media, yes. like, so that, that's it. But, but it is good, it is good for, for, for our health. Es saludable, realmente, they say. Yes. Okay, thank you. Steffi, you go, and then Mardo. Okay, if Steffi is not ready, Mardo, you go. Yeah, ya pasé, teacher. Es cierto, no te noté. Okay, Oscar and Nina. Okay, teacher. Uh, I had never gone uh, on the roller coaster. I had never eaten pacaya. I had <laughs> never eaten ceviche. Oh. Okay, I have not, well, pacaya is not so good. It's kind of bitter. Siento que la pacaya es como amarga. Okay. Uh, yes. We say bitter. Um, sweet. We have salty. Okay. Bitter es amarga. Sweet es eh, dulce. Salty es salado. Acid es ácido. So those are types of flavors. And a lot of people prefer acid uh, flavors. La gente eh, prefiere sabores ácidos. Or some people like sweets, right? Like chocolates, candies, cake. A lot of people prefer it, okay? And there are some, well, few people, poca gente prefiere eh, sabores amargos, bitter. Few people, okay? And salty, maybe depends, depends. Okay. Yeah, Mardo. Y bitter is uh, pronounced igual que el grupo uh, de inglés Beatles. No. No, porque es Beatles. Beatles. Uh -huh. mm, Beatles. ¿Y de qué hecho, significa Beatles? Beatles es escarabajo. De hecho, en, okay. en el inglés americano se dice así: Beatles. Con la dos E, se lleva tres E. Pero. En el inglés eh, británico se dice Beatles, ¿ok? Es okay, como por... you, You're welcome. Uh, for example, let me see. ¿Ok? Color, it's an American word. But color, it's, an, it's a British word. ¿Ok? Se dan cuenta. Entonces, estas dos palabras significan lo mismo, solo que esta es un inglés americano y este es un inglés británico de Inglaterra. Mm -hmm. There are some differences, right? There are some differences. So that's it. So in the case of Nina, that, that she has experienced uh, in the environment, they speak like uh, they have British accent, right, Nina? Yes, right. Tiene, tiene un acento inglés, right? Mm -hmm. Because, because uh, India was a colony of British, of yeah, United Kingdom, right? So that's yeah. why they, they have like bad, Mm, that accent uh, because yeah because of the culture right mm -hmm. for example um 
here in El Salvador, we have different accent in comparison to, to Argentina, right? It is like, it is uh, easy to notice, it's fácil de notar, right? So, yeah, even the Spanish is uh, like the mother tongue, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, so let's listen to Nina, you go, and then- Hi. Going. Yeah, tell okay. us. I have never cooked Chinese food because in my family, only me like this food. Uh, for oh. that reason, I, I didn't cook Chinese food. Okay, yeah, that's it. Well, it, it depends on the customs. Uh, it yeah. depends on the things in every family. Okay, good, thank you. What about Edwin, your turn? The same. Yep. Okay. I I have never fished in the sea, never climbed mountain, uh, never uh, during my fall. Drunk. Drunk. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Porque drink is present. Okay. So you're never fished. Nunca has pescado, right? Yeah, oh, it, no. could, it could be a good experience. I would like to. Me gustaría. Well, no, my case, I would like to. Ese, ese uno de <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is good. Why not? And it is possible, right? And Edwin have never drunk alcohol, he says. Nunca he tomado alcohol. No. Somos dos. Perfect, Edwin. <laughs> good, good for you. So, and here we have. Um, por si no se habían dado cuenta, están utilizando el presente perfecto. El presente perfecto es cuando utilizamos el have como auxiliar y utilizamos eh, verbos en past participle, en pasado participio. Esta estructura se llama presente perfecto. Ok. So, that's it. Lo, ustedes, eh, maybe you're going to study it in the intermediate. Lo van a estudiar esto en, en nivel intermedio. Pero ya ven que no está difícil, ¿verdad? Está fácil, está bien práctico, right? Entonces, eso es algo que lo van a ver más adelante. But it is good to, to, to check it uh, by now. Es bueno como revisarlo por ahora, solo para tener una buena idea. Okay. Oh, good, my friends. Um, si se dan cuenta, a veces yo les pongo algunos temas que son un poquito, no son tanto para este módulo, de acuerdo al programa, pero es bueno darles un vistazo para que no parezca tan extraño para ustedes, tan, tan desconocido. Well, means of transportation, means, eh, aparte que sin, significa, significa, también significa acá medios, means of transportation, ok? So find uh, 10 means of transportation from the box in the word search, ok? Eh, Carito, are you ready? Of course, teacher, always. Okay. Permítame. <laughs> Remember, we have across and we have and we have down. Para arriba se dice upwards. Okay. So that's it. Creo que ahí aparecen. Ahí están los, la mayoría. Okay, Carito, Nina, and Carlos. Okay. Okay. Across number three, mot motorcycle. Oh, wow. Easy, right? Yeah. Motorcycle. So, thank you. Nice. Nina and Carlos. Okay, number one, mm -hmm. across ship. Okay, ship, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Good. And we go with Carlos and Oscar. Okay, across. Number three, motor, motor cycle. Motorcycle is taken, ya está tomada, aquí está. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, Entonces, eh, helicopter. Eh, number okay. four, across. Ok. Helicopter, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Oscar and Ken. Down number two, uh, Edward. Train. Number train. Yeah. Okay, let's say train number two. Number two, uh, down. 
No, no es para acá, es de reversa. Backwards. Sí, sí. Backwards, sí. Backwards. Ya que no vamos a acá. Permítame. Backward significa de reversa, man. Ok. Eh, Kenia and Durant. Teacher, eh, do, eh, number eight, and ten, taxi. Taxi, taxi drive, please. Taxi, taxi. No, al final. Um, yes, upwards. Thank you. Good one. Okay, we go with Luis. Me, teacher. Ah, I'm sorry, Duran and Luis, please. Okay, teacher, number 10, outward truck. Okay, truck. Yeah, 10, right? Yes, this here is truck. Okay, perfect, Duran. Luis, your turn. Sorry, teacher, I don't know, understand. Esa era la que tenía yo. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. Well, we have car, plane, and subway. Um, um, number nine, across, plane, plane. Plane, yeah. Good. Okay, we have a uh, car and subway. I guess... Carlos and Oscar has the other. ¿Tienen las otras? Carlos y Oscar. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Num okay. Number. Uh, number nine. nine. Across. Um, car. Car. Yeah, that's it. Car. Good one. And Oscar, do you have subway? No, teacher. No, okay. Does anybody have subway ready? Okay, Edwin. Okay. Where is it? Number five, backboard. Bicycle. Back. Subway five. Five. Number five. Number five. Uh huh. Bicycle. Uh, ah, bicycle. Your subway mm -hmm. is a I'm sorry. <laughs> bicycle. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And subway. Gabriel, are you okay with subway? Number 10. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I said. Subway. subway. Yeah. Okay. Subway. Thank you. Que es el metro. Okay. Nice. So here we have means of transportation. Yeah, that's it. Definitely we don't have so way, but we need it. Nosotros necesitamos esto. We, well, there are too many cars in the suburb and the traffic jam is terrible and the traffic is going to increase year by year. Right? So we need this. Okay. Um, thank you very much, my friends. We're going to uh, start with 45 seconds free speech, okay? So for this, I will need three volunteers. Vamos tres por tres. Así vamos a ir pasando. Okay? Three and three. Okay? So if you are ready, I'm going to count the time. Estas son de las últimas eh, speaking activities que nosotros tenemos. ¿Verdad? Y yo creo que de acuerdo a todo lo que hemos ido practicando, dando las opciones, we are kind of ready. Considero que ya están listos. Carito, ready to rock? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. You, you tell me how, when I start? Yeah, you can do it now. Okay. Today, I'm going to talk about Colombia, a wonderful country full of beautiful, kind, friendly people. The most delicious food in the world such a uh, sancocho, ajiaco, pan de bono, buñuelos, suckling pit, sweet balak manch, sweet beleño, with many spectacular places such as Cartagena, the Amazon, the Sol Cathedral, the happiest country in the world because we dance salsa. Okay, wonderful. Finished? 
Yes, right, Carito. Finish. Okay. Yes. 35. Me quedaste debiendo 10 segundos, Carito. But that's okay. <laughs> Good. I speak, I speak uh, so fairly fast. 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 That's I know. why. Ajá, te emocionaste. Relax. Yes. Relax. Don't I can't, do it. teacher. I can't. Oh. Yes, you can. Okay. Wonderful, Carito. I like the details that you mentioned. I like it. So, Sancocho, I tried Sancocho in Panama. I visited Panama like eight years ago. And I tried, but I don't know if, if it is the same. No sé si es el mismo. Sancocho es una sopa que se hace con plátano verde, mm -hmm. papa, okay. yuca, elote. Puede ser de pollo, de gallina, de res, Ay, de cerdo oh o de pescado. De cerdo, O el probé. trifásico que lleva pollo, res y cerdo. Se escucha con demasiado poder eso. Mm, better no. But, yeah, but I have tried, yes, I've tried Sancocho. It, it's delicious. It's really good one. Yeah, I know. It's really, really good. Yeah, good one. Yes. But I tried in Panama, so maybe they have like similarities. Yeah. But I, I guess that the, the, the specific country is yeah. Colombia. So, for example, here we have pupusas in some places in Honduras they prepare pupusas but definitely absolutely the best pupusas are in el salvador yeah okay yes <laughs> okay. you can try it Puedes probar, pero ya verás. okay thank you carito okay. wonderful Gracias. description of your beautiful country good I will thank be you. Some of course okay we have also nina and carlos okay nina your turn my friend Okay, I, I like Colombia too. Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm talking about my weakness in grammar. Okay. In English grammar, I have a lot of problem when I speak with another people because my experience in learning English is in the first time I learning speaking. After this, grammar and writing, for that reason, uh, for me, it's very important this course because I, uh, I learned too much about uh, verbs, times of verbs, construction, the sentences, and also listening and construction, the information and then for me it's glad to stay in this course uh, at the end i hope so uh, uh, make few mistakes when i talking with another people wow interesting perfect i like it 85 seconds you did it really good uh, nina and well talking about this we have like a 10 minute session yesterday with nina and i noticed that uh, her speaking is really good, but she has some gaps. Tiene unos vacíos. Gaps. As everybody, like everybody, como todos. Yo tengo un vacío en el corazón. But there are, <laughs> we have some gaps in grammar, in listening, in speaking. That's it. So that's excuse why. Me, excuse me, teacher. Go. Say gaps or gaps? Gaps. Gaps. G. Yeah. Puedes decir, caps. sí. Ok. Caps o puedes decir lax. Lax, eh, gaps es vacío. Ah, ok, lax. Gaps es vacíos y lax es carencias. Ah, o sea, falta, okay. falta algo. Ok. okay. So, um, in this case, um, talking about Nina, she started speaking the language, but we, included you and me, we start uh, writing we start reading, listening, and at the end, we speak. Um, so Nina, like, jumped some steps. Nina se saltó algunos pasos gramaticales. So that's why she has, she wants to, to, to learn more about grammar, okay? Yeah. Entonces, este, eso es bien importante. Tenemos, we have two. Estas son cuatro habilidades. Fíjense bien, cuatro habilidades para aprender inglés. Pero estas dos habilidades, 
son las que cuestan un poquito más. Writing and reading son un poquito más prácticas, porque escribir y leer no es tan difícil. Sí cuesta, pero no como listening and speaking. Okay. So that's it. Well, so thank you, Nina. Thank you for welcome, expressing and telling your experience in uh, English. Imaginen, ella estaba, estaba estudiando y también el inglés a la fuerza. Como que, uh -huh. It's different because you are learning, like formally, ustedes están aprendiendo inglés formalmente y van paso a paso. En cambio, ella tenía, si no aprendía ciertas palabras, caducaba. Pero todos llevamos ahora un proceso, and I like it, you have a good level. Todos ustedes tienen un buen nivel. Ok, eh, Carlos en Kenia. Ok. Hello, everyone. My name is. Carlos Abrego. I live in Oloquilta. I am happily married. I have daughter. My favorite food is pupusas and typical dishes. My favorite fruit is strawberry and anona. I also enjoy reading in jumper cars. My favorite Uh, animal, animal is the dog, um, hamster, and I pay my life. Okay, perfect. Good. Good. We have 41 seconds, 41 segundos. Good. Me queda debiendo cuatro. I got good, Carlos. Well, I didn't know that you had a daughter. Congratulations. So you are a father. Perfect, Carlos. Congratulations. I imagine that you are a great father. Okay, so that's nice. And as Carlos said, I'm happily married. Soy felizmente casado, dice Carlos. So that's the kind of man that the Salvador need. All men in the Salvador are similar to Carlos. Todos los hombres parecemos a Carlos. Yes, that's it. So good for you, Carlos. And Of course, if you live in Oloquilta, you have tried different types of pupusas in there, right? So that's it. Good one. Aha, Nina. ¿Qué nos vas a comentar, Nina? Sorry, sorry. Forgot. Ah, yeah, forgot it. Forget no, about it. Yeah. Okay, pensé que ibas a hablar de los hombres fieles de Salvador. Como Carito, estaba esperando <laughs> no. la reacción. Ya, okay. yeah, Carito. No, 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 puede, no se puede negar carito de los salvadoreños, right? Ok, um, we go now with Kenia. Si queremos terminar a tiempo la clase, no le pregunten de esos temas a la, a la colombiana. Sí, porque me sale con el machete desenvainado, carito. Pierde, okay. teacher, pierde. <ríe> ok, pierde la fidelidad. Ok, okay Kenia, teacher. go. Okay, today I will talk, talk to you a little about the lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is a phenomenon that occurs when the Earth is located between the sun and the moon. This causes the moon to darken. For this astronomical event to occur, the sun, earth, and moon must be in exact alignment for these recent eclipses generally occur under extraordinary conditions and during a four month lunar eclipses can be of three types, the number, partial, and total, all of the related to the level of consul. Okay, interesting. Uh -huh. About Consulment of the light projected by another star. Okay, thank you, Kenya. One minute and 22 seconds. Good. Uh, interesting information about eclipse. And it is like, uh, yes, it, eclipse, it is like a phenomenon that has been occurring during all periods of our 
of earth life, de los periodos de la vida en la tierra, indefinitely. Um, there are a lot of beliefs, hay muchas creencias, a lot of beliefs about it, right? Since a pregnant woman can have contact with the eclipse light, and that also eclipse is like a sign of good things, bad things, a lot of, uh, what, a lot of ideas, but it is good to have uh, clearly three types, as you said, right? Hay tres tipos, right? Interesting information, in, right? Good one. Okay, and we're going to finish with Oscar. Terminamos con Oscar, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos que seguir con la clase, and then we continue with the others. Okay, Oscar, are you ready? Uh, right, teacher. Go. Well, uh, 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 I tell the, uh, about my life. Um, um, a little the my biography. Uh, well, uh, I am the 44 year old Matthew. I have four children. Um, a uh, grandson. Three, three will, three girl, um, a boy, I live in San Salvador. Every day I get, uh, every day I get out at four o'clock to go work. I go from Monday to Friday. Um, my life is, um, uh, is uh, very boring. Me, it's boring. Okay. I, I, if, uh, I like uh, watching the movie, uh, movie the action, uh, movie the comedy, comedy movie, um, uh, eating uh, with family in Saturday to, uh, in tonight. Um, very much este, uh, con mi family with a moment of gratification. Um, I like the music, Christian music, uh, and the other thing. Uh, I like it, the uh, reading the Bible uh, so much. Uh, my life is a uh, lover the God. Okay, uh, interesting. Uh, so, um, no, no, I have the uh, hobby. My life is, is all working, working every day. Uh, yes, solo working. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, good. Two minutes. Creo que te me pasaste un poco de sabor. But nice. And something that you said is that you're a grandfather, right? You're a grandpa. Oh, so it is good for you. So congratulations, because you are that generation of grandfathers, young grandfathers, right? Yes, Carito. Oscar le pagó los minutos que nos comimos nosotros, Fitch. Yes, yes, I can see. So interesting. And I cannot, we can notice that you spend time working and with your family, right? Thank you, Oscar. Really good. Well, and now we continue with this. We are going to have two activities, okay? Um, this is a short conversation between speaker A and speaker B, okay? So for this one, I will need some of you. And let's see, I will need, let me see. Um, Mardo, you can be speaker A. And let's see, Gabriel speaking B, okay? So, excuse okay. me, how can I get to the airport? Airport, okay? Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, okay. we, the airport. well, the airport is very far away, you can go be taxi or you can drive. Bye. Taxi. Thanks. Thanks. Taxi. Thanks. Oh, I going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, is 
two block down three three you can go three by foot. Thank a lot. Thank you. Very nice. Carito, can you help me go by? Use go by. Yeah. Use go by to spe specify the means of transportation you use from point A to B. For example, go by bus, go by car, by plane, by foot. Foot. By foot. I don't know. Foot. Foot. Okay. foot. Okay. Es ir a pie. Okay. En el dos. Right. So, and we have these expressions that are practically very clear. So, uh, how can I get to the airport? Si, uh, les sugiero que, que escriban esta, esta, esta pregunta. Cuando dice, how can I get to, ¿cómo puedo llegar? Okay. ¿Cómo puedo llegar al aeropuerto? How can I get to the museum? How can I get to the zoo? How can I get to the park, to the church, to the hospital? This is a common question that can be applied for asking information about how, well, asking about directions, pedir direcciones. How can I get to, como puedo llegar a, okay? So as they say, well, the airport, okay? Airport, mm -hmm. lo pronunciaron bien, ¿verdad? Gabriel y Marta, ¿verdad? So by, near significa cerca, okay, near. Okay, so um, it is here. We're going to practice this conversation. Vamos a practicar esta conversación, pero también vamos a hacer otra actividad. En este caso, we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. So we're going to write the place, for example, park, means of transportation, car. Question, can I go to the park by car? The answer, yes or no, okay? Entonces podemos mencionar otras dos más. Por ejemplo, en lugar de parque podemos poner hospital, museum, museo, church, iglesia, school, right? zoo, zoológico. Entonces escribimos el lugar, el medio de transporte. La pregunta, can I go, can I go to the church by bus, by foot? Y la respuesta puede ser yes, no. Así que primero, I will need, first, I will need, Carito, maybe, can you help me, please, with this screenshot? My dear Carito. Absolutely, teacher. Just give me one minute. Okay. Take two if you want. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. And the here Next. have the other one. Okay. If Ready. Teacher. Okay. Solo lo voy a ordenar. Okay. Okay. Mardo. Ahí estamos ahorita. <coughs> hola, hola. Ok, relax, todavía no estamos ahí. No se emociona, no se emociona, tranquilo. <risa> Yo decía que quizás no me he podido meter. <risa> ah, 
mati, kena mati, keren ya, kena mati. Y en el cuadro. La solicitud. No, teacher. Ok, se les envío de nuevo. Nina, tú vas primero. Ok, para que lo acepten. Carito, ahorita te acabo de enviar a Nina, que no había aceptado. Ah, ok, teacher, yo me regresé porque pensé que me había sacado de la plataforma. Estaba todita, no todita. Okay. Pobrecita, pobrecita. <risa> Ahí está, Carlos. Ya te digo la solicitud, creo. La revisa.
Okay. Ajá, Carito. Pensé que te había dejado sola nuevamente. Yes, no. Bueno, no, pensé que <ríe> bueno. me había sacado y me había quedado como en el limbo y yo, I feel alone. Pobrecita, pobrecita que estaba solita. Ok, let me see, we have more uh, 45 seconds free speech. And in this case... Yes, ya lo han carito. ¿Cómo, Nina? ¿Qué dices, Nina? No, es... Stay alone, carito. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, my friends. Volunteers for 45 seconds free speech. Alguien que no haya pasado, voluntario. Si no, vamos a elegir a alguien por acá. Okay, Durán. You go, my friend. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my name is Gabriel Durant. I, I live in Zacatecoluca. Oh, I like to travel a lot. Oh, and I have no country like Guatemala, Honduras, Costa Rica, and Panama. And the culture of, of this country is very interesting. In the future, I would like to continue traveling around the world and get to know the culture of many countries and above all, try their typical food and beers. Also, the best food in the world world is pupusas. I will send for them anything. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good, my friends. Uh, 50 seconds, really good. Como el rapero 50, ah, no, I said 50 cents. Okay, um, interesting that you have tried different types of food, right? And yeah. type, different types of girls. Wow, that's interesting. Well, um, definitely pupusas are maybe on the top. Well, we as Salvadorians say that, but in different countries, they have their own uh, food, so they can say that their food is the best. And, of course, we have the uh, delicious food, right? Yes. So it is good to visit a lot of places. So you can know or you can understand different traditions, attitude of people. They have customs, tienen costumbres, kind of different. So, yes. yes, it is good. Of course, it is good. So thank you, Duran. Very interesting you. from you. What about Mardo? Que se está escondiendo. Ajá, Mardo. Okay, teacher. Yeah, y después Wilfredo, el cantante. Okay. Nice. My name is Mardoqueo Ramirez Perez. I'm 50 years old. I live in Aguachapan City. I am married and I, I am father. My daughter's names are Nicole and Priscilla. My wife's my wife name is Corina Galicia. I, I'm a technica, technician in food. I like eat pupusas, ayote, and papelillo. I don't like pinol or pinole. I have a dog. Its name is Bruno. I working in Lacto San Jose 20 years ago. In my world, I live the the bill of men, new products. Products. I never drive a plane, boat, and motorcycle. Thank you, teacher. Okay, wow, interesting. So, Mardo, you are 50 years old, but you look yeah. younger. You look younger, my friend. It's because you like to exercise, right? You are always in shape. Yeah. So, so it's good for you. It's healthy. It's really healthy. Nice. And um, you have to say, tienes que decir, I am happily married. Estoy felizmente casado. <laughs> That's okay. the way. Okay, okay, remember that. Like Similar to Carlos. Okay. Él nos ha enseñado eso. So good. Well, interesting. You have two daughters. <clears throat> you have worked for Lacto San Jose for 20 years, right? 
Is that true? Yeah. Wow, a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Good for you. So interesting, Mardo. Uh, thank you for uh, giving your, your speech. Okay, el cantante, the singer. Come on, Wilfredo. Good evening. My name is Wilfredo. I live, I live in La Pango. I go in Santo Tomas. I would like to learn English. My favorite hobby is watching movies. In my free time, visit my family and I like to travel by motorcycle. Excellent. Good. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, 30 seconds. Me quedaste viendo 15 segundos, Wilfredo. So you like to, to, to uh, ride motorcycles. Good. He renegado este Wilfredo. It's okay. Nice. Interesting. Te faltó poner ahí. I like to sing uh, ranchero music. I am a good singer, right? I have a sexy voice. Te faltó eso, Wilfredo. Para el próximo, please. Okay. You have to say it. And good. What about if we listen to um, Evelyn? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, please go. Okay. We'll talk about touristic places in El Salvador. Nice. Uh, in El Salvador, there are many tourist places that you can visit on your vacation. And for example, Coatepeque Lake, Tunco Beach, Santa Ana Volcano, El Pital Hill, and there are many more places. Uh, you, can you can take a good vacation without living in the country, in which you can also eat different food dishes and have a well deserved, deserved vacation and our country is visited by people from other countries who come take a well-deserved vacation to our beaches. Why not enjoy our attractions? That's it, definitely. One minute, very well, Evelyn, very well, yes. Um, actually, I consider that El Salvador is one of the best spots to visit different places, and it's kind of cheap. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, creo que me está dando ataque de tos. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay. Yes, El Salvador has a lot of uh, touristic places and definitely it is not so expensive, no es tan caro. So, a good, that's one of the reasons why we have a lot of tourists or people from other countries. They have, they look for El Salvador and they think, well, we can spend like two or three days and we can visit different places. So let's take advantage of that. Vamos a aprovechar eso. Mm. Yes. Unfortunately, some Salvadorian um, don't take advantage of that. Algunos Salvadoreños no aprovechamos eso. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, thank you, Evelyn. And uh, let's continue. We have this grammar. And look at the words in bold and compare the sentences below. I will need you to help me. Luis, can you help me reading this part? I will show you which part I... This. Okay, teacher. Uh, Please. Okay. How can I get to try the center? I am going to rent a car as soon as get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6. 4 a.m. Ok, nice. As soon as. Esta es otra frase que podría ser importante si la pueden escribir. As soon as, tan pronto como o en tanto. Voy a rentar un carro 
eh, tan pronto como llega a Panamá o en tanto llegue a Panamá. Ok, as soon as. A veces en los mails aparecen, please send the report as soon as possible. Por favor, envíe el reporte tan pronto como sea posible. Thank you. Ok, thank you, Luis. Uh, let's listen now to um, Kenia, please. Yeah. How, how do you go eh, Podrías work? acercarte un poquito más, Kenia, please. Ok. ¿Así está bien? Yes. Excellent. Ok. How Good. do you go to work? I go, I go to go to the conference center after I check in. I go home around 7 o'clock p.m. Ok, eh, nice. So, esta palabra <coughs> tiene silent word, silent letters. So, conference. Mm -hmm. conference. Conference. Yeah, that's it. No, conference. Conference. Good, thank you. Um, uh, Kenya, so here we have the difference between get and go. Okay. So, here we have use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea. Entonces, utilizamos get para pedir indicaciones. O enfatizar una idea. Luego tenemos use go to specify the means of transportation. Go lo utilizamos en este caso para especificar eh, los medios de transporte. Ok. So here we have this. Uh, we are going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. Ok. What about the others? We have to, you have to add get or go. Volunteers for this. Okay, Mardo and Evelyn. What number? Number two. Mm -hmm. Alex. So, Sophie, how do you go to work? Sophie, by car. Ok, excelente. Solo que en este caso sería How do you get to work? Uh -huh. Ok. Como la otra pregunta, How do I get to the airport? ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo llego al aeropuerto? ¿Cómo llegas al trabajo? Bye, Carl. Okay, thank, thank you, thank you, Mardo. Evelyn. And then we have um, Luis. And Edwin. Number four, teacher. Yeah, go. Excuse me, how can I... I get to the bus station. Excellent. How can I get to the bus station? Good. Thank you. Okay, we go now with who? Luis and Edwin, right? Okay, teacher number three. The trainer is going to go to the production plant after meeting. Yeah, yeah. The trainer is going to go to the production plant. Good. Okay, Edwin and then Oscar. Okay, uh, number five. The bank is really near. You can uh, go with food. Yeah, you can go buy, buy food. And Oscar, can you help us with number six? Um... No la veo, teacher, me la puede subir un poquito. Ok, just give me a... Number six. Ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to call, I'm going to call you when I go to hotel. Sería when I get. To the hotel, okay. Cuando llegue, ajá, porque recuerden que get um, tiene como el significado como de llegar, okay. That's it. Well, here we have a pair of work, and um, let's listen to this, okay. And uh, I will need Carito for for this and Kenya. Vamos a ver esa dupla, okay. Okay. You are driving and you are using your GPS system. Mm -hmm. 
Bien, estas son indicaciones, creo que dice Sunei, estás conduciendo y estás usando el, el, el sistema GPS, el Student TV. You work at the GPS company. Kenia, tú trabajas en la compañía de GPS. And you are giving directions to your classmate. Use the conversation below to, as a reference. ¿Ok? So, tú necesitas ayuda, eh, Carito, y Kenia te lo va a proveer. Ok. Thank okay. you for using, sería entonces, ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you for using Road Star. How can I help you? I need direction for the culture. Yeah, I get. No, I need directions for the, for, yes, for the road, for, mm -hmm. huh? for the road. Uh, for mm -hmm. the, for the road hotel, hotel. How can I get there? Mm -hmm. Sure, please turn left, continue 20 kilometers. His speed limit is? Mm -hmm. It's like 50, 60. Okay, that's it. 60. So it is like very simple. Uh, how, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. I need directions. Uh, how can I get there? Entonces, esa pregunta es como que bien clave, bien importante. How can I get there? donde ese cómo podemos llegar a, a, a ciertos lugares, ¿ok? So, um, let me see. Ok, Carito, can you help us with the song? ¿Puedes ayudarnos con la canción? Absolutely, teacher. Perfect. Ok, just uh, necesito que me habilite el sharing, please. There you are. Thank you. Are you seeing the screen? <clears throat> Yes, yes, we no. can. Okay, what's the name of the song? I'm going to. Imagínese hasta, hasta yes. instrumentos puse este carito y si viene con todo. <laughs> Vamos a bailar, yes. ya vi. <laughs> Baila bien y cantar. Buah. No, porque nadie quiso cantar, yo Buah. tampoco. No, I propose and nobody wants. Igual, teacher, que la segunda ronda íbamos a cantar. Ya por ser los últimos días. Como que es despedida de noveno grado. Ok. Something like that. Ok. okay. Every time okay. that I look in the mirror, all this line on my face getting clearer. The past is gone. It went by light dawns to dawn. Isn't that the way? Everybody, everybody's go their dues in life to pay. I know nobody knows where it comes and where it goes. I know it's everybody's sin. You go to lose to know how to win. Half my life in books, writing page, storing facts, learning from fools and from sage. You view the earth. Okay. Up kind of lust. Uh-huh. Oh, sing with me, sing for the year, sing for the lower and sing for the tears. Sing it with me. It, if it's just for today, maybe tomorrow the God Lord will take you away. Okay. Easy okay. peasy. Mm, I don't think it is easy peasy, but okay. Oh yeah, it's very famous. Ideas. It's a, a, a group. It's not a singer. It's a group. Very famous. I don't know. What okay, the country. Say. The country. Where are they from? United States. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, sir. It's enough. I'll um, look in the mirror. I'll go. Look in the mirror. Is that Carito? No. No. Voy a cantarle para que vean como es de chévere. Sin witness, sin for the year, sin for the love and sin for the tears. Sin witness, just for today. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you away. Mm. Okay. Is that, is that... Is Michael Jackson? <coughs> no. 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 Is that you got it, see. teacher? You got it. No, I got it. Other Sigue tu corazón. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good advice for me. No es una buena sugerencia para mí. Pero para ustedes sí, not for me. Okay. Ríndanse, ríndanse. Beach boys? No, it's not beach boys. No, teacher, come on. This no, this group is uh, some... Eminent, make... no. Make a song for a movie. Armageddon. Carolina uh, Mandela. Aerosmith. Yes, Aerosmith. It's Aerosmith. Now you know the song. ¿Cómo se llama la canción, Carito? <coughs> Dream on. Dream, Dream on. on. Dream, Dream on. on. Dream on. Dream on. Dream on. Dream on. Okay, I have never paid attention to Carolina easy, Mandela PC. audio. Bye. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Carito. Okay. Nice dream on. Yes. You know what? I forgot that. Esto queda grabado. So you're going to be famous. Yes. Okay, Wilfredo, el cantante. Sí, pero en un meme, teacher. <laughs> ¿Cómo crees okay. que cantas? ¿Cómo en realidad cantas? Sale <laughs> la chimoltrufa. Reali realidad versus expectativa. No, oh, come on, chimoltrufa. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, thank you, Carito. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, really nice. No, no, hay en no, 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 Nice. Esto va a quedar y después ves el video para recordarte los viejos momentos. We have studied hotel reservation and we have three parts. The first part we started on Monday and we reviewed that in this part, uh, this is the first call and the customer is providing the information, right? Está diciendo la información principal. Luego tenemos, then we have part number two, in which the agent gives the options so the customer can select what is the best option for him or for her, right? Aquí le da las opciones que también la practicamos. Good. And for number three, it's the closing, ya es el cierre. So, in this case, um, the important point here is that and here the customer provides the credit or the debit card, okay? The agent says, all, all right, sir, or uh, the agent can say, may say, all right, miss, or missus. Would you uh, like to play with debit or credit card, okay? And then the customer provides the number and then provides the confirmation code that it's the number that is at the back side of the card. And the agent says, all right, Mr. Clara, que en este caso ustedes van a utilizar el apellido de, de, de compañero, la compañera. Uh, your reservation is done. You can check your receipt and your email and then. Thank you for staying in Spotlight. This was, y aquí el agent dice, este fue, por ejemplo, this, this was Mardo assisting you. Have a nice day. Entonces, repitiendo, la primera parte era para captura de, de información principal. La segunda ya dan las opciones que ya lo practicamos. Y la tercera ya es la parte del pago y el cierre. Esto es, this is basically like a conversation for a call center. Es como una conversación básica de un call center. Obviamente en un call center se hablan de otras cosas, de pero, pero mira tal cosa. And I want to make some changes, quiero hacer unos cambios. Eso ya es diferente, but this is the ideal conversation. Esta es la conversación ideal en un call center if you want to make a reservation in a hotel, okay? 
So um, I'm going just to, let me see. Le voy aquí a. Voy acá a. Seleccionar qué palabras pueden cambiar. Ok. So, um, Carito, could you help me, please? Of course, of course, teacher. Thank you, thank you so much. It's ready, teacher. Thank you, dear Carito. So we're going to practice this. Y ya sería prácticamente que ustedes ya tendrían como una conversación de call center, pues ya básicamente practicado. OK, so it says, all right, sir. O puede ser all right, miss. Would you like to pay with debit or credit card? I pay with credit card. Excellent. I will need you. Aquí sería, me faltó la R. Let me see. Se me escapó. I will need your credit card number, please. Um, it's, you can say number by number or in pairs, like 30, 13, or 3013, 5000, 91, 23, 87, 56, as you want. Thank you very much. Now I will need your confirmation code. Okay, 482. All right, Mr. Clara or Mrs. Something or Miss Something. Your reservation is done. You can check your receipt in your email. So we'll be waiting for you on November 26th. Great. Thank you for staying at Spotlight Hotel. This was Jose Cuellar assisting you. Have a nice day. Así sería entonces. This conversation. Okay, Gabriel, creo que hay dificultades con tu audio. But well, we're going to practice. Um, Please, this is going to be almost the, the last practice. Solo vamos a practicar unos tres, cuatro minutos. And then we go with, después iríamos con los otros speech, right? Y estaremos casi por terminar. Solo nos quedan como 20 minutos. Okay, my friends. So, see you in a moment. Oscar, ¿no te llegó la, la, la solicitud? No, teacher, eh, veo a Carlos tampoco que no. No, pero Carlos este, es otro. Es que él está conectado de dos dispositivos. Permítame. Pero sí, no me llegó. Ok, ahorita te la envío.
Okay, my friends. Yvette, 45 seconds speech. Okay. I'm going to talk. Sí. Yeah. Oops. Yes, go. Perdón, perdón. No problem. Okay. Back. Talk to you about what I like to put it's sleep and watch the television. I try to cook almost everything, but I like Mexican food more. Tortilla soap, tacos, and cakes. I still like Mexican food, and, uh, but I, I also like the chin. Chinese, Chinese. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Chinese food is one of my favorites. Sleep, but on the couch watching TV on a Saturday afternoon. My favorite series, Criminal Means, are the CSI, um, The Mentalist, and Law and Order. Order. Fin. Okay, fin. thank you, thank you. Uh, criminal mind, creo que es, pero no la he visto, right? Ah, but ah, I, I have seen CSI, okay. pero sí he visto CSI. Really oh, good. Okay. Veo que te gusta como, like detective series, like, yes. right, like process, like answering some difficult questions, uh, difficult cases. Eso veo que te yes, gusta. Sí, mm -hmm. sí, mentes, uh, como uh, psicópatas. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Really interesting, yeah, really sí, interesting. Yes. Of course, because that's real. O sea, quizá no es un caso, but, but it's part of our reality. Yeah, it happens a lot. Yes, Carito. I, Tim Yvette, I really love Criminal Minds. It's about human behavior, the hmm? psycho, psychos, psycho. uh, serial killers. It's very, very good. I really recommend it. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I, I will check it. I like CSI, but uh, I like some other uh, movies related to that. Different types of crime. Other series? I don't know if you see if it is NCIS. Mm -mm. Is it about the crime, uh, crimes about the Navy? It's very mm. good. And the protagonist okay. is... <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Es comida protagonista. <laughs> I, I love that. It's an all very old man, but it's great. I recommend that series. Like uh, uh, old and sexy. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you for your recommendation, Karit. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Yvette. And Luis, what about you, my friend? And then we have um, Edwin. Oh, okay, teacher. Please. I will tell you about the music. I have liked to sing since I was five years old. The music for me is a way of thinking, expressing, feeling at every moment, the state of life. Uh, the music fills you, they are like poems accompanied by melodies that make they complement something special. In life, there are moments to enjoy life, but there are also sadness and emotion, and we always accompany each other in listening to something attracted to that we are doing or going to throw at the time. The good thing is that we can listen to different gen genres according to the tastes of each one. Is your music is the perfect melody that accompany us at all times. Yeah, good one. Thank you. Um, one minute. Uh, well, well, fifty-seven seconds. Good, Luis. And there is something that is. Um, there are even therapy about music. I como hasta incluso terapia eh, con 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 respecto a la música. Music is so important, and even for a um, a pregnant mother. Uh, the baby inside the, the, the mother can listen and can have like interactions because of that, because of yes. the expression. Good. Yes. yes. 
And it is uh, interesting how music can change our mood. A veces la música nos puede cambiar nuestro estado de ánimo. Right? Yes, teacher. It's yes. important. Yes, important. It's because necessary. Necessary. For example, when you wake up in the morning, sometimes you are really sleepy. You need music that provides you energy. Música energética. Necesita música para despertarte, right? Yes. And yes, when you are having a party, you need like happy music to celebrate. And when you are in a romantic mode, you need like soft music, right? So there are different types of, of mood, different tipo de, 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 de animo. So that's really important. And music is yes. one of the most ancient arts, de los artes, del tipo de arte más antiguo. Yes. Very nice, very nice explanation. Okay, what about Edwin? Are you ready? Yes, are you ready? Please go. Okay, uh, I will talk about something, something that I like to see in people. For example, when traveling on public transport, the currency that some people show to give up their seat to older people, to men or women carrying their babies and pregnant women. Children respectfully greet older people, people sharing what they can with those, those who do not have, although the good the thing, that I have uh, mentioned are fair. Unfortunately, uh, they are seeing thing, thing that are disabling with uh, the, the passing of gener generation. Perhaps uh, because we value things thing and people around us. Yes, uh, how to be gentle. Um... Yeah, generosity, to be gentle, polite in public transportation. It is something that we have to, uh, we have to teach to the next generation. Debemos de enseñar incluso eso a las siguientes generaciones. Um, and it, it is good to be kindness. Es bueno ver amabilidad todavía, o sea, se ve eso. And we have to show empathy for the others. Sometimes we're in the public transportation and then comes some other people that they are more tired than us. Estamos cansados de nosotros. Eh, mostrar cierta amabilidad. It's part of human being. It's part of our humanity. Parte de nuestra humanidad, right? To show that, to make favors if we can. Hacer favores si nosotros podemos. Okay, so that's uh, really good. And we have to continue with those good um, good shows or, or of kindness, ¿verdad? Como las muestras de, 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 la, de la amabilidad que nosotros podemos mostrar, right? Thank you, Edwin. Really good uh, topic. And we're going to finish with Gabriel Beltra. Okay, you are the last one. Are you, are okay. you ready? Okay. Hi, how are you? Uh, my name is Gabriel. Uh, I live in San Salpa. Uh, what I tell them, uh, I and my the respect, the honesty, uh, the camaraderie of all of you. And for that, I dance that being able to hear that you. I thank you, teacher, and I thank you, teacher, uh, and everyone for the meeting you have uh, with me. I consider that I am the one who is having the most problem with English. Okay, nice, Gabriel. Well, uh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure, realmente. Okay. Teacher, teacher, uh, some of the extra. Yeah. I have never been 
am faithful. Oh, good. Nice. He has never been unfaithful. Nunca ha sido infiel. Dice, God, well, it's part of our nature as Salvadorian. Como Salvadorian es parte de nuestra naturaleza. So, I understand you. Yes. Yes, I understand. Aunque se rían, Gabriel. Aunque se rían. La acá, Kenia okay. está celebrando, Kenia. No, la Kenia, miren la goza. Okay. You know, when Gabriel says, I am, I am never had been faithful, I just think. The other side of the computer, the camera is going the, the wife. The wife, like. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gabriel. It's just. A, okay. No, a, a pues sí. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno, es un claro ejemplo how we are, como nosotros somos. Okay. Nice, uh, my friends. Este ha sido como un grupo bien interesante, como dice Gabriel, pues. New experiences, okay. I'm going to check the attendance list porque ya, ya nos pasó el tiempo. Ya sé que, pues, todos los de aquí son fieles. I know. Solo un poquito. Well, remember algo que les quería comentar. Kenia, tranquila, Kenia. Respira. Respira, mujer. Ok. Good. There are some, hay algunos de ustedes que ya hicieron eh, el examen final, pero tienen como 79, 78 de puntaje. Es porque en la tarea 3 o la tarea 4 no la completaron en su totalidad. Por eso tienen menor. I recommend you, les recomiendo que la vuelvan a hacer, para mínimo deben de tener 80% para aprobar el curso. Acuérdense que hay va, va, varios aspectos, asistir a clases, participar en clases, tener la cámara encendida, este, terminar la, los exámenes, las tareas y terminar la encuesta que mañana la vamos a realizar. ¿Okay? Así que recomiendo que revisen, si no yo les voy a decir que cuál es la homework que le hace falta, porque necesitan tener 80%. Les digo eso porque hay como dos que ya terminaron el todo, digamos, to, todas las pruebas, pero tienen 79. Y es, hay una, hay un homework que no lo han terminado por completo. ¿Ok? Así que yo, yo les voy a avisar. Ya voy a revisar y ahora en la noche o mañana en la mañana les digo para que lo tengan ya completo y mañana ya libres. ¿Ok? Y es Mardo. Sí, nos avisa, por favor, piche, para ver. Ya si... voy a revisar, voy a revisar okay. y les voy a decir. Eh, le voy a decir eh, del grupo porque hay algunos de ustedes que no tengo su número personal, ¿verdad? Pero le voy a decir cuál es la tarea, ¿verdad? Ustedes sin pena vuelvan a hacer, ustedes tranquilos, la hacen mañana temprano y para ya estar listos, ¿verdad? Quienes no han hecho el examen final, háganlo ahora, recomiendo que lo hagan y ya quedan listos. Ya. Va. Entonces mañana. Ahí mañana. Salón primero. <risa> Mañana, recuerden que vamos a tomar la, la, la captura de fotografía para que Carito no me regañe, eh, porque Carito la vez pasada dice que quería ir al salón y que no sé qué y no venía lista con el glamour. Ahí se lavan el cabello, chicas. Bien, nosotros los hombres porque no, ya no tenemos mucho remedio, ¿verdad? Así que, ¿verdad? Pero, Por eh, gusto. Ok, gracias. Tomorrow we come to the party. What? <laughs> yes, Oscar, tomorrow is party. Eh, entonces, solo para que no me reclamen después, yo siempre hago una captura y que les quede de, de, de recuerdo, ¿verdad? Me gusta hacer eso, ¿verdad? Porque ya hacen descuento en los trabajos donde van, en los lácteos, ahí San José le pueden hacer un descuento si muestran esa captura. Ahí se la muestran, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Ok, nice, my friends. I'm going to check the attendance list quickly, ¿ok? Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Carito, thank you. I'm here, teacher. Oh, there, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Steffi, no, we don't have Steffi. Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Hello, Gabriel. Yes, teacher. Duran. Hello, teacher. Yvette, thank you. Kenya. Present, teacher. <laughs> Good. Luis. Present, teacher. Uh, Mardo. Good Oscar. Night, teacher. Good evening. Nina. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Oh, okay. Good evening. So, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Mañana la última clase. Nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you.
there was a student who was supposed to be here in the 10 minute session, but we're going to have a review of the content studied tonight. Here we have a short conversation which says like this. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Go by. Use go by to specify the means of transportation you use from point A to B. Example, go by bus, go by car, go by plane, go by foot. Then here we have um, how to use get and go. Here we have some examples. The first one says, how can I get to the trade center? I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. And on the other hand, we have different examples of go. How do you go to work? I'm going to go to the conference center after I take. I go home around 7 